At the end of 2022, Rockstar Games changed the Kaya Perigo heist. All of the guards on the island now will now detect dead bodies, which will break stealth. This means that all of the routes people were using before 2022 are now kind of irrelevant and need to be changed. Fret not, in this video I'll be showing you the updated, most effective and consistent guide to complete the Kaya Perigo heist elite challenge with perfect stealth. If you follow the exact route that I'll be showing you in this video, you shouldn't have any problems at all and you can make millions of dollars just like usual. Let's get into it. If you enjoy this video, a thumbs up would be awesome. Subscribe for more stuff like this and let's go. First things first, the setup screen. The approach vehicle we're going to be using is the long fin, infiltration point, main dock. We're going to be entering the compound from the drainage tunnel. Escape point does not matter at all. That's because you can jump off the island anywhere and escape, so this doesn't matter. Time of day is up to you. And for weapon loadout, I would either recommend Aggressor or Conspirator. If you're on console, I would 100% recommend Aggressor. If you're on PC, you might be able to get away with Conspirator, which is what I did here, but I still kind of regret that choice. Honestly, go with Aggressor. And of course, don't forget to equip Suppressors. So, once we get in the heist, the first thing we're actually going to do is get all of our secondary loot. And to do that, we're going to go up to the airstrip. The reason for this is because it's the most consistent and easy location to get the secondary loot. Technically, main dock could be faster if you absolutely nail it, but there's a lot more enemies and a much higher chance of getting detected. This is the most consistent route, which is what I'm trying to show you, and it's only going to take about another minute. Once we're at the airstrip, park your long fin somewhere close to the island so it doesn't drift too far away. And what you do from here depends on where the best secondary loot spawns for you. This, of course, you would have scoped out in your actual gather intel mission. If you need to know which secondary loot is best and how much it's going to pay, Rockstar actually changed that in 2022 as well, so I'll leave a link at the top of the description to the video where I broke down all the primary and secondary loot values. For me, the first bit of loot I wanted to get was in the hangar over here. Now there are some enemies at the airstrip that you can no longer kill because they're going to get detected, but this guy here is not one of them. You can take him out and just walk straight into the hangar, or if you wanted to, you could sneak past him, but I just like to take him out. I had to go up to the top here to get the weed, so grab the forklift, come over here, grab these boxes on the crate, and make your way up here. We bring friends, and our friends bring bags. More bags, more money in bags. Perhaps next time, yes? By the way, don't worry about leaving space in your bag for main objective. I have crafted special compartment for it. Potion, of course. I remember, I once ran mission at nuclear reactor. Everything went smoothly until we realized how heavy is a brick of plutonium. Very heavy. Take my advice. You need to run fast. Pack light. After you come out of the hangar, you'll see these two enemies here. You can no longer take these guys out, at least not easily, because they're going to get detected by the car that comes through here. So the only way you could actually take these guys out is if you wanted to take out the driver of the car as well, but it's just not worth it. What you want to do instead is come this way and jump up on this roof. This guard over here, you're going to have to be careful of him. I'll show you that in a second. But while we're on the roof here, we want to take out the guard that's on the balcony. Take out the camera down here and make our way into the secondary loot location. Now, why I said we have to be careful of this guard over here is because if he is too close to you when you open this gate, you're going to get detected. He's going to hear it and stealth will be broken. A lot of people say that that's not true. I have the footage right here. I got spotted before while doing this. So just let him walk a few steps away before you go in here. For me, in here I had coke, which pays a lot more than the other loots. 
So I grabbed that one first and then filled up the rest of my bag with cash. Once you've done that, head over to your long fin and make your way down to the drainage tunnel and I'll talk to you when we get there. Entering the drainage tunnel is pretty simple. Jump out of your boat, swim down here, make sure you equip your rebreather as well. That's gonna be left on the D-pad for console and I believe G for PC. I could be wrong on that one, but it should pop up on your screen. So come down here, use your cutting torch to go over all of the different green dots here. You probably have to run over it about three to four times on each one, then swim up through the drainage tunnel and you're into the compound. Okay, this is where things have changed a lot since the last video I made. So normally I would recommend just blasting through everyone. We're not going to do that now. We're going to kill as few people as possible. So here's what we're going to do. Head up these stairs. We're going to go left straight across. We're going to jump this little fence here. Go all the way to the end to this bush. Move left past these two guards. We're going to jump up here over this little fence here. Now we need to wait for this guard that's above these stairs to move. There it goes. All right, wait for him to go past. There we go. Now we can walk past here. We can also just walk past this guy, which is pretty cool. Now, this is where it gets interesting. The strategy I recommend is actually walking past this guy as well. So we're going to take cover on this wall. Believe it or not, this works very consistently. I know it seems odd. I'll show you the alternative in a second, but just, yep, walk past him right here up the stairs and we're in. Okay, what's the alternative? Now, normally, you should be able to just kill this guy, but I believe he's bugged right now. This could be a bug, or, or I don't think it's a feature. This is most likely a bug, but every time I kill him, I get alerted. You can see that right here in this footage. It seems odd. I'm hoping Rockstar patches this, unless it was intended. But either way, sneaking past this guard works every single time. Once you're in El Rubio's office, head over to the safe here, grab the cash. That can spawn anywhere up to $100,000, I believe, so we definitely want to take that. And then we're going to hack the keypad over here and break into the vault. Normally, we would have a gate key by killing all these guards, but like I said, we want to kill as few people as possible now, so we're going to have to hack through up here. In order to hack most effectively, of course, you want the very top of the fingerprint here to be the top one. Then we can move down to the second one, put it on the top one, and then move right one more. So that's going to be the second one. We'll go down to the third one, put it on the top part of the fingerprint, and move across two. Just continue that process until you get to the bottom of the fingerprint, and you'll be into the vault in no time. Now, get 
Once we're into the vault, the most effective way to break this glass is hold down the button until it gets right about to the point where it's going to overheat. Then let it cool down basically all the way and do the same thing. Do that four times and you'll have the item. Alright, coming out of the vault now, there's two ways to get to the gate. The first one is very, very simple. Just walk around the guards again, go down the stairs. And we're gonna head over to this staircase here. The alternative way to do this is we can actually jump from the top. But this can be kind of risky because we need to make sure that the area below us is clear. Or else we're gonna be jumping right on top of the juggernaut. And of course that's gonna get us detected. So as you can see here, I'm looking at my minimap, waiting until the juggernaut is, you know, a fair ways away. And then jumping off like you can see here. Either way works, it's up to you. Alright, once we get to this staircase here, we actually don't need to kill either of these guards here. We can wait for this guard to turn the other way, and then we can just walk up to the gate, making sure we just step around this guard's cone of vision, as you can see on the minimap there, and then we're out. We can just open the gate. Once we're out, we're not home yet. There's been another change that has made this bit a little bit harder as well. Normally, the meta is just to kill this guy at the bike here, and then take the bike and swim off the island. But now, the car that drives through this area is going to spot this dead body. So what you need to do is take this guy out, steal the bike, drive across here, and you're going to have to take out the driver of this car. Now, look, okay, this footage you're about to see is not pretty, but it just shows that you do have a bit of leniency here. Your aim doesn't have to be perfect. Take him out, drive over to the edge of the island that I'm about to do here. From there, just swim. Swim as far away as you can from the island, and eventually you are gonna complete this. So there you go, that's how you complete the Elite Challenge pretty easily in the Kaya Perico Heist post-nerf in 2022. So this is going to work in 2023 and beyond. If this helped you out, a thumbs up would be awesome. And again, if you do want to know which secondary loot and primary loot is best and what you should be getting, I'll leave a link at the top of the description to my guide where I broke down all of the money and how much everything pays. I hope you're staying safe and I will see you in the next video. Boys. Since I was in the seventh grade, seventh grade. Had my first kid, I was only 17. 17 Always a provider for my pack like Wolverine. But you won't find me on the mountaintop Need no calculator, I can wear it cause it